I was in Tuscaloosa. Yes, I was surprised. Uh, I didn't know it was going to go that early. But um, I was in Tuscaloosa in the hotel. I had a uh, draft party for Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I knew I could draft just then. I was thinking a little later than what I did. Um, but I was, uh, it's crazy because I was in the hotel that I was going to have my draft party at, and I was on the sixth floor, you know, up there just grabbing some eating. And then I had got the call from Coach Campbell. And I'm just like, <laughs> he said, You want to be a lion? I said, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I ran down three, fl oh, no, I'm sorry, six flights of stairs just to get down to the TV and to my mama because she was down there setting up for the party and all that for the next day. And I, so how much time did you have between the time you were on the phone to the actual draft so you get down to the uh, I think I had. It, 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 uh, they picked, they called me like three picks, but like three picks before. So I, I had no time, but I ain't know I had that much time because I, I won't <laughs> at the TV. I was just grabbing me something to eat, and yeah. So I had to run down six flights there. The elevator was taking too long. So I just <laughs> shot down. What was your mom's draft party? Nah, well, technically, yeah, now, but uh, but nah, it was uh, we was just setting up that Friday. Yeah. We were setting up in the hotel because you know draft start early on uh, the last day, so we were just setting up and stuff, and got that call. Okay, gotcha. What was your mom's reaction? And look, I ain't, I'm gonna tell you, I ain't never seen my mama jump. <laughs> every, every in my life, my mama jumped at least this high up off the ground and it hugged me, and I was like, this is probably the best feeling in the world. Can you do that? Not trying to have, man. I don't even know if I can do that. High. I don't even know if I can do that. <laughs> now that you're here, how does the reality compare to the dream? It's way better than what I what I thought. This is like I'm blessed. Like this is a uh, it's surreal. I, I still don't believe it. Like I walked up in here and I seen the locker with my name on, and I just I ain't like I about I about shed a couple of tears because it's just this is actually like here it's happening. This I come in here smiling every day. I ain't frowned yet. Like, I ain't, ain't, <laughs> I'm just smiling, man. It's, this is a blessing. I'm blessed. In the football terms, I give you any sort of idea where, how they intend to play you? Um, uh, not not yet. Not really. We got to know. I'm uh, of course where I got drafted. I'm looking to yeah. looking to play. Uh, but I'm I'm just taking it day by day, step by step. You seem very grateful for everything that's happened. Does that drive you to pay these guys back and show that kind of faith in you? Definitely, definitely. I mean. Man, this, this is like a dream. I used to pray for this every single day since I was five years old. I've been playing since I was five. I used to pray for this every single day. I ain't missed a day. And it just, for, for it to be here, and you know what I'm saying, it, it was looking rough a couple times from what, what, how I started uh, with, my, with my college journey and all that. But just to be here is like, I'm just, I'm so grateful, man. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Way, I'm sorry. The way, you know, Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have talked about you, they, they see you needing some development, right? And I so, think that makes sense. Most guys out here need some development. But do you feel... This, this drive to, to shorten that learning curve to, to prove that you can be a bigger contributor maybe sooner than they think? Definitely. I'm, I want to I play this year. I want to I wanna do this now. You know what I'm saying? I, I, although I came from a small school and all that, I'm, 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 looking, to, I'm looking to play. There's nothing nothing about waiting that I want to do. Like, I don't want to wait, play. I, I want to play now. I want to be, be in Kansas City on the first game. I know, I don't know if we asked you this draft thing, but you know, not a lot of guys are built like you, right, with the long arms and all that. When you watch tape of, of NFL guys, who, who are the guys maybe you, you see yourself in and, and maybe model your game after a little bit? Uh, see a little bit. Uh, I've been trying to watch Fletcher Cox, uh, Chris Jones, uh, Raekwon Davis down there, uh, Miami. Um, just kind of guys that match my match my type of physique. You know, just trying to learn from how they how they do stuff, and you know, because you know, have, having the height advantage over people. You know, you, your stance is a little different. Uh, you got longer on, so you got to be able to use them a little better. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's why that's why I watch you pretty sound much. Like a guy that's not content to just stop the run. Sounds like you want to get after the passer a little bit too. Oh, definitely, most yeah. definitely. I went, I went. They, they, didn't, they don't, don't ever think I'm a pass rusher, but I think I can, I think I can surprise some people. Definitely. Oh, what's your mom's name? By the way? Karen Martin. Karen. Karen. K A R E N. Yes, sir. Okay. Did you play most of the time over the nose in college? Or I'm seeing a lot of college people. Is that where you're more comfortable? Yes, sir. That's that's why I played the most at, but play anywhere. They asked me to. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's why I played mostly. Try to come up a little bit late. Uh, the arm just uh, jammed a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, I was just locked out. People came down, hit it. It wasn't that too crazy. Yeah. You know, they just wanted to make sure I'm good. So why it was important for you to get back out there. Yes, sir. Definitely. I mean, the best ability is availability, so I need to be out there. Okay. Yeah, I'm got King. Seems like you're getting a lot of attention from uh, John Scott. What have your conversations with him been like the past couple days? Uh, just. Making sure I'm focused, making sure I'm uh, I know what I'm here for. Uh, he's trying he's, he's trying to shape me into the best player that I can be. You know, um, it's really all it's been. You know, he's trying to adjust me, trying to get me acclimated to to his defense, how they do things on the D line and stuff. So it's been pretty pretty good.